لشگر صاحب زمان آماده باش آماده باش بحر نبردی بی امان آماده باش آماده باش لشگر صاحب زمان بحر نبردی بی امان آماده باش آماده باش on July the 29th, an oil tanker controlled by an Israeli company was attacked by a drone loaded with explosives. The attack took place near the coast of Oman. Two of the ship's crew, British and Romanian nationals, were killed in the attack. Shortly after the attack, Israel, Britain and the United States insisted that the incident was not the work of pirates. They specifically mentioned Iran. Iran. את התקיפה כנגד הספינה. הראיות המודיניות לכך קיימות ואנחנו מצפים שהמערכת הבינלאומית תבהיר למשטר האיראני שהם עשו טעות קשה. Israeli Defense Minister Benny Gantz also stressed that Israel and other nations must react to Iran immediately. However, Iran had denied any involvement in the incident and tensions between Iran and Israel continue to escalate. Saeed Khatibzadeh, the spokesperson of the Iranian Ministry of Foreign Affairs, accused Israel of creating instability, terror and violence and warned that whoever wants to blow the wind will reap the tornado. In recent months and years, Iranian and Israeli ships have been repeatedly attacked and each time the two sides accuse each other of carrying out these attacks. At the same time in recent years, Israel has carried out numerous attacks on Iranian positions on Syrian soil and is accused of attacking some important Iranian facilities, in some cases using cyber weapons. For example, during an operation earlier this year, an explosive device was planted at one of Iran's most important uranium enrichment facility sites, which caused extensive damage to the facility. The attack was first blamed on Israel. Tel Aviv has a long history of attacking Iran's nuclear infrastructure and conducting covert operations. So to me, the recent attacks on the Israeli ship Mercer Street looks suspicious. I doubt the Iranians were involved. It was most probably the Israelis themselves who conducted the operation on themselves. The attacks came as Iranian President Hassan Rouhani, who finalized the nuclear agreement with the West, was ousted and replaced by Ibrahim Raisi, a revolutionary figure who has a strict view of relations with the West. Israel isn't too happy that Iran may be getting sanction relief soon with the prospect of economic benefits. Iran will have funds to strengthen countries it's involved in, mainly in Iraq, Syria, Lebanon and occupied Palestine, and this constitutes a strategic and existential threat to Israel. The fact that Israel is now warning they can go to war with Iran alone constitutes a resounding failure of Israel's policy. Entire war with Iran, song and dance, was initiated by former Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and has now been adopted by the new regime in Israel, who are very much aware that in reality Israel can't act alone in a war situation with Iran. Israel would find itself alone in the battlefield with Iran. The support that Israel received from the United States and Britain after the Israeli ship was attacked in the Persian Gulf is an important matter. However, it shouldn't be misconstrued because Israel hasn't obtained any green light from Washington nor London to declare war against Iran. There is now audio of Iran's seizure of a British flagged oil tanker in the Strait of Hormuz. It was seized on Friday. Britain is discussing its next move while Iran holds its 23 member crew and an Iranian flag flies atop that tanker. The British certainly won't join Israel to strike Iran militarily for attacks on shipping and certainly not to stop Iran's nuclear program. After Iranian seizure of a British oil tanker in 2019 and even Navy personnel in 2007, the United Kingdom opted not to respond militarily at all. Obey, you will be safe. If you obey, you, be, you will be safe. After your course, 
But can Israel conduct airstrikes directly in Iran? Well, in theory, they can. The Israeli Air Force has hundreds of aircrafts, mostly fighter bombers such as F-15, 16 and the new F-35, which would spearhead any attack on Iran's nuclear facilities. The F-35 has already been used in combat by Israel in Syria. Whilst Israel has the capability, the core military challenge for the apartheid state is distance. Iran is more than a thousand kilometers from Israel and at the limits of the Israeli Air Force's capability. Israel would need support for this attack with air-to-air -air refueling tankers, tankers which are vulnerable to attack, adding to the risk of the operation. Israeli air planners would need to consider trade-offs for refueling, including how to avoid detection and recovery plans. One of the ways of mitigating this problem would be if Saudi, Wahhabi, Irhabi, Arabia and countries like the United Arab Emirates and Bahrain give support to Israel. But given how the Saudis are being thrashed by the Houthi rebels right now, I doubt the Saudis would want to be digging their grave. For now, there's no green light for Israel to attack Iran directly, simply because any Israeli response in respect to baseless allegations of Iran hitting Israeli ships will lead to sabotaging the nuclear agreement, which the United States of America is so keen to ratify once again. دشمن به خودش یک شب آرام ندیده دشمن به خودش یک شب آرام ندیده کم کم همه جا میر صدای حسینی بین المللی میشود این ارس خمینی آرام و قرار همه کف به هم خود بیداری اسلامی دنیا که رقم خود با ما سخن از جنگ مگو ما که نموردی ما پاسخ تان را به دم تیغ سپردی از منطق ما هست شده باجه تسلیم در شام و اراق و یمن آماده جنگی در شام اراق و یمن آماده جنگی Sell